Hey guys, it's the Little Crazy Bear, and I'm back again with another review, and today is uh, a Dive Wimpy Kid review. Now before I do this, this is Dive Wimpy Kid 10, old school. Right here, look at that freaking awesome cover, that freaking black, shiny cover. Yeah, I love the old school printing. Uh, so before I do this review, I just want to mention something that I didn't mention in my, in my long haul review. So you can go and watch that, uh, and then come back to this if you haven't seen it. I haven't, I didn't, I forgot to mention that, uh, Jeff Kenny has just announced a fourth Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie that is in the works right now, and he's, uh, casting auditions for Greg and Rally right now, that's it, just Greg and Rally. Um, yeah. And it's a long haul movie, uh, it's, it's gonna be Dive Wimpy Kid 4, The Long Haul. So... They're skipping five, six, seven, and eight to do long haul. That's fine by me because those are terrible books. I wouldn't want to see movies of those. But actually, Cabin Fever I might actually want to see a movie on. But long haul, I'm very excited to see a movie. I don't care how bad it is. It's probably going to be bad considering there's going to be whole different actors and stuff. Uh, we don't know what it's going to be like. But a long haul story, and you guys know how much I love the long haul book. And, uh, it's gonna be very interesting to see a long haul movie. I will be there. Probably on opening night. Um, uh, but yeah, he's announced a Dar uh, fourth Dark Wimpy Kid movie, The Long Haul. So, and there is auditions for Greg and Rally, so I forgot to mention that. So, today's review is 2015's Diary of a Wimpy Kid 10, Old School. So, again, this is a spoiler review. Um, I'm going to be mentioning spoilers. So if you haven't read this book, this is a fairly new book. It came out on November 1st of last year. So it's a fairly new book. So if you haven't read it, um, just leave this review now because this is a spoiler-filled review. Um, so, Old School is about the olden days. Gre uh, Greg's mom is basically having a, a all-out unplug, like... A week, I think it is. It's a day or week. I think I'm pretty sure it's a week, but it's an unplugged week where basically she's getting the whole town to sign this uh, this little sheet form that says I will unplug all electronics, like um, TVs, you know, stuff they didn't have in the olden days. So that really is a problem for Greg because he basically is like any other teenager, you know. Um, and, uh, he, uh, needs his electronics because, he, you know, you need your things, you know? I need my things. I can't go a freaking day without electronics. Now, if you're anything like me, you don't have a problem with this. I could probably go a day or a week without electronics. Um, I'm just that old day kind of person. I would just read books all week. And, uh, if I was unplugged for a week, I'd probably be totally fine. I mean, uh, wouldn't be allowed to watch movies because I wouldn't have a TV, wouldn't have my phone. Eh. Okay, so it probably would be bad, but, uh, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as people think, you know. I, oh my goodness, I don't have my electronics. What am I going to do? I'm going to die. I'm not that kind of person. I can actually go, like, a couple of days without electronics. Um, or like a TV or anything. Uh, but old school, that's basically the main plot of this. And uh, life was, so here's the back. Life was better in the old days, or was it? That's the question Greg Huffley is asking as his town volt voluntarily unplugs and goes electronics free. But modern life has its conveniences, and Greg is now cut out for an old-fashioned world. Well, with tension building inside and outside the Huffley home, will Greg find a way to survive? Or is going old school just too hard for a kid like Greg? So during this book, Greg and Raleigh actually start a lemonade stand, but that goes bad. And so, yeah, uh, that's one of the subplots. And another one of the subplots is they have to help out the Girl Scouts. And Greg runs away with these two other kids, one in grade one and one a teenager. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the plot of this. And I think it's very interesting. This is okay. I mean, it's a pretty good book. It's not a terrible book. It's not like five, six, seven, or eight. God, I freaking wish. But, uh, 
Um, it's not as good as Nine, obviously, but it's still pretty good. Uh, I would say this is quite an interesting book. Um, uh, this ha this book got mixed opinions, but I like it. Um, I sat down and I had a pretty good time with it. And, uh, yeah. This book kind of reminds me of Halloween, because when you open it up, there's, like, orange and black, the colors of Halloween, so this reminds me of a Halloween book. So, uh, yeah. There's really not much to say at the end. Of course, I said there's going to be a, this was going to be a spoiler-filled review. At the end, Greg is sent off to this, uh, sleepaway camp thing, and, uh, yeah, he has to basically spend, like, a week or two, I'm not sure, at this camp out with Rowley and a bunch of other kids and stuff like that, and, uh, there's basically this rumor of Silas Scratch, a person who eats lives off of slugs and berries and stuff like that and uh he's basically a deformed kind of creature and he lives in the woods and yeah uh if that was real that would be horrifying uh but uh i really like that at the end of the book um basically at the end of the book trouble ensues and greg's dad comes to pick him up and they settle their differences and uh Greg actually at the end scribbles out a uh, a little cardboard thing that says beware of Silas Scratch as he's driving away in the van and he's holding it up on the back for the other kids that are coming in like the next bus that arrives so that's the ending scene uh so I, I just love that um so Darwin Kid 10 Old School is uh, definitely a pretty good book uh I would recommend it uh you might not like it it's not the most interesting of Dive Run Kid books, but it's definitely a very good one, uh, in my opinion. And so, yeah, this has been The Little Crazy Bird by Dive Run Kid 10 Old School Review. Yeah, Dive Run Kid 11 Double Down is actually coming on November 1st of this year. I will be reviewing it when it comes out. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching this review. It's been The Little Crazy Bird. Stay crazy.